Welcome to Holly Terminator X Training Part 18. In this video, we're going to be exploring using our fuel injection timing programming within our Terminator X software. Our fuel injection timing relates to when we want the fuel injector to spray when we have our intake and exhaust valve opening and closing events going on. So we have a very specific window of where we want the fuel to get in so the engine's going to be able to use the fuel being sprayed in as efficiently as possible. I'll be going over the built-in calculator to the software. We can enter in some cam card information from the camshaft profile that we're using. It populates a table, makes it very easy to set this up. I'll also be going through some more of the back detail on fuel injection timing so it makes a little bit more sense of the values that Holly uses within the software. We're gonna have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our fuel injection timing programming in our Holly Terminator X software. Our fuel injection timing is gonna be when we wanna specify where our fuel injector is going to spray in relation to our intake and exhaust valve opening and closing events, which is based on the camshaft profile that we're running into our engine. We're able to take our cam card information from the cam that we're using, our aftermarket cam, put it into our software and figure out an optimized injection angle table so that we can make sure that we're spraying our fuel when we have our intake valve closed and it's about to open and avoid spraying our fuel out of an open exhaust valve, which can create a very strong fuel smell and have poor fuel economy as a result. Let's jump into our software and talk about this of where we can find our fuel injection table. We're gonna go here, move from our fuel parameters. We're gonna go here into our system parameters. Let's close this. We're gonna go into our engine parameters tab and move into our EFI system. Now down below in here, we can see enable injector end angle table and then injector end angle. What we'll find here is that all the files will be defaulted to just this injector end angle. This is gonna be specifying a singular point of where we wanna start our injection spray in relation to our, our engine cycle and our auto cycle. Now, this is a little bit confusing. Um, it's a singular value. So first off, it's gonna be relating to where it sprays or it tells the injector to start spraying when it's going in at idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle. That's not ideal. We wanna be more specific with this. We can have a three-dimensional table. As the engine's spinning around, we need to change that injection point in relation to um, the engine speed. So that's where we're gonna come into this, in the enable injector end angle table toggle option here, which is gonna be unlocking our injector phasing where we can actually go into a three-dimensional table and specify all this. So we'll look at this in just a little bit. Let's talk about our value here because this is kind of a, an odd value. If you're coming from programming an OEM ECU, like a GM Gen 3 or a GM Gen 4 ECU or even a Ford ECU, it does not reference our injection end angle table in these units. So let's break this down. If you're familiar with doing your end of injection angle uh, tuning or EOI based fuel injection timing tuning in OEM ECU, coming up on screen, this will make more sense. We're gonna be uh, correlating this to an OEM uh, injection angle table. So we're gonna find, at least in a GM ECU, between the compression and the combustion stroke, that's noted as zero degrees. Then if we move from our compression to our intake stroke, the point where the piston's at bottom dead center, that's 180 degrees. Then if we go between our intake and exhaust strokes, where the piston's at TDC, that's gonna be 360 degrees. And then if we go moving from our TDC point where the piston's now going, we're going backwards in our auto cycle, that's now going to the point where the piston's at BDC, or bottom dead center, that's at 540 degrees. That's gonna be between our exhaust and our combustion stroke. So what we'll find when we're talking about end of injection timing, whether fuel injection timing, it'll be moving backwards in the auto cycle, which is why it's known as an end of injection because it's referencing the point we're going from that zero marker and going backwards. It's actually going to be the start of our fuel injection spray. It's just gonna be specifying that because we're moving backwards rather than moving forwards in the auto cycle. So if we're talking about an OEM ECU, specifically a GM Gen 3 or Gen 4, we're going to find that it normally has our end of injection reference points anywhere between 360 to 450 degrees of where it wants to spray. That's gonna be putting our injection point where it starts to spray out into our exhaust stroke. Now, the intake valve at that point is usually going to be closed and we'll find that we're spraying fuel against a closed intake valve. That's gonna be, uh, because the intake valve is gonna be warm and hot at that point, it's gonna be atomizing the fuel before it gets into the engine. So as the injector sprays, it sprays the deliver fuel, it hits the back of the valve, it atomizes against the hot air, gets into the engine, creates a better swirling effect, creates better combustion, we'll find more complete burn, all things that we wanna find and we wanna have. 
Now, as we start to go up in engine speed and engine RPM, we can shift that point. We actually can shift it a little bit later. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.